Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are currently done with our truce with the League of Non-Aligned Powers. Now, we don't really know how we're going to go about fighting them just yet. I believe that if we subjugate, like, the Galactic Queptilium State, we can get them taken. Whoa, okay. I didn't actually expect to go into a system there. That's interesting. I had no idea that that worked that way. So when you're dragging a box and you end moused over the system, you go into the system? That's weird. <laughs> I had no idea. Regardless, if we are to subjugate the Galactic Weptilium State, I believe that we will be at war with the entire League of Non-Aligned Powers. But when we succeed, only the, Gal the Galactic Weptilium State here would become our vassal. I do not believe the entire... League of Non-Aligned Powers would. And, furthermore, the League of Non-Aligned Powers would have a truce with us. Probably a 10-year one. So that would be a very long time, right, before we're able to get that all done. That's a bit of a problem. And I feel like we'll be entering a lot of stagnation at that point. So if we wanted to do that, like, we've kind of been entering stagnation as it is right now, but I do want to have that last big war. How do we want to go about handling that? The easiest way, at this point, I believe, would be for us to have the, if we go into our traditions here, would be for us to have a ascension perk that makes us the crisis, right? Unfortunately, we didn't get that. Our Ascension perks are full up, so that's kind of some uh, bad thinking on my part. I wonder if perhaps we can get somewhere with some policies here? So we're currently on Supremacist Stance. Okay. I mean, Claim Influence Cost Reduction is nice. We have to be- we have to have the Fanatic Purifier's Civic to take purification. Which kind of works for us if the purification is turning everything into an ocean world. <laughs> so there's that. So we would need a civic for that, right? So I believe for that we would need to do a government reform. Now that would cost us unity. Sure. For that, we would also need to be a fanatic xenophobe. So we'd have to change our governing ethics. That's not very ideal either. Because that's not something that's super easy to do. Right? That would be complicated to change our, our governing ethics at best. So what other options might we have, CB-wise? Maybe I'm wrong, and demanding their vassalization would allow us to vassalize the entire League of Non-Aligned Powers. Maybe. Other options... could include entering their federation and taking it over diplomatically. I don't think that's good because we've been not working towards that this whole time. We've been working towards combat. I would prefer to go the combat route right now. In fact, we can queue up some Twilight's Judge class and we need more minerals. So we may as well sit in uh, fastest here for the moment and just let this tick on forward. So... That's definitely something to think about, right? Yes, we want to extend our deal. Thank you very much. So those are all options. None of them are particularly amazing options. If we go into our policies here, we have unrestricted wars right now. That's all well and good. 
No problems from the odd factory, sure. Okay. So, should we run a for science? Let's do it. I'm actually, I don't think this is going to work this way. We're making a save here and we're going to revert to this save no matter what. But I want to know how this system works when we're subjugating a Federation member. I don't actually know how that works. So we're going to demand vassalization on these guys. Then we're going to declare war on them with the vassalize CB. We're going to have to wait until they respond, I believe. So, of course, we're going to revert back to that previous save. Do we just have to tick forward to update it, maybe? Maybe. I didn't see an official response. Yeah, we don't have a CB on them. We grow ever stronger. Any moment now, guys. You can respond. We grow ever stronger. Also, I want to see how many reasons do they have. Yeah, they, they rejected, as we expected. Uh, yeah, minus a thousand because they're in Federation. Fair enough. So if we then declare war on them, which is something that we're going to do right now because we're going to revert this, we would want to vassalize with the subjugation CB. So in the event of a status quo piece, systems we occupy will be released as a new vassal if they include at least one planet. We also have eight claims. Okay. So we declare war. Heave ho! We're going to war. And yes, this is a war of overlordship against the entire League of Non-Aligned Powers. This was expected. If we achieve our war goals, the Galactic Queptilium State becomes a vassal under the Democratic Association of the Majority of the Pictlings. But... Hypothetically, what happens if we attack someone other than the Galactic Queptilium State? So, um, we need to go to, like, Carathor here. Or actually, this would be a better location. So, we're going to grab all of our fleets. Again, we're going to revert this so we don't actually care how this war plays out. We just want to make sure that this is going to happen. We're going to send all of these guys in here. We wouldn't actually play out the war this way. This is exclusively to figure out exactly the way that this system works. So, we're going to head on in over here. Under attack. Yes, we're fully expecting to be attacked. We don't care about that right now. So, all of these guys are going to pop in over here in a Streakian. And they're going to head on up. So, we're instantly under attack. And that's down over here. I mean... We're probably going to hold that. Probably. Yeah, we're going to hold it. No problem whatsoever. But what we're really interested in right now is this. So we're attacking this station. And we actually have to bring our army in as well. So they're going to head up over this way. We lost a starbase somewhere? I don't know that that's actually true. Oh, uh, they attacked over here. From Fulaz. Yeah, fair enough. That's something that we would have taken care of if we were actually doing this. We don't actually care. Again, we're going to revert this. Period. End of story. I only want to find out exactly what happens here. So, San Cristobal, that's not a very powerful garrison. Good to know. So, we'll arrive over here pretty soon. The station will, of course, fall. They can't hold this. 28 days. And it's ticking very slowly because this is a big old war. But that's to be expected. So, we need to be able to land here. The uh, button isn't popping up. But it should soon. Yeah, there we go in. And I'm going to try pausing here. Yeah, we can't right-click on San Cristobal. Okay, that's um interesting, for sure. Probably because we have multiple fleets selected, actually. So we'll group those together, and yeah, that's the problem. Fantastic. In we go. 
So all we're going to do is we're going to land here. I don't care about things that they're taking right now. All I care about is what exactly is going to happen with a status quo piece if we take something from the Space Elf League. That's all we're trying to figure out right now. So this is only a planning simulation, right? That's all this is. And that's all this ever was. So we're going to land on San Cristobal. We grow ever stronger. Yes, our gateway construction site is indeed ready. We're going to land here. We can also see what our simulated energy credits are going to be like. That's not too bad. So that's fine. Our landing party is okay, enemies. so we're going to wipe out their armies here. That's going to take a little bit of time. We don't care about any of this. None of this is relevant. The only thing that's relevant is that we win this invasion. And then we'll revert after we know. So we're getting some disengagements here. That's fine. We already beat their combat width, so that's great. Eventually, this tick will finish up. There we go. Perfect. So what do we got here? Well, we're going to wipe out one of their armies. Their armies are pretty strong, of course. That's to be expected with this being Space Elf. They didn't disengage that one. Interesting. So their morale will be dropping quite soon. But yeah, they are... They're, de they're, they're definitely not taking all that much damage. That's fine. We don't actually care about this. All we care about is what happens after we take the planet. If we were able to do a status quo piece. Which they're not going to accept right now. But we don't care about whether they accept it or not. Any moment now. <laughs> I mean, this one's had his morale broken. This one's morale is broken as well. As is this one, actually. So they only have two armies that are doing full damage. Cool. I was hoping that we would take this a little more quickly, but it doesn't actually matter. This save doesn't matter either. <laughs> it probably shouldn't save there. Okay. Okay. Three armies remain. These two are still completely untouched. Again, we would not play this war out like this. If we were actually going to fight them. This is purely a simulation. So, let's see what they've got here. This is not going to take very much longer for these armies to go away. They are broken morale here. And this army is not broken morale yet, but they're low morale. Okay, this army disengages. And broken morale. Beautiful. So no more damage coming in, really. I mean, there's some small amounts. I would like to see this army be disengaged. It's not very useful right now. But sadly, that's not going to happen, it looks like. And it's going to be lost. It doesn't matter. None of this is relevant. The only thing that's really relevant right now is that we take San Cristobal. Victory. Okay. Drink up my loyal crew. We don't care about any of this. Not relevant. We don't care about this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we don't care about that. I was just looking at their uh, alignment there, but it doesn't matter. So the only thing that matters here at this point is what happens if we status quo. As I thought. Okay. So this works the way I assumed that it did. I just wanted to make sure of that. We're going to load back into this save here. Yes. Excellent. So we load back into that save. None of that actually happened. That was all the simulation as we stated at the beginning of it. So what did we learn from that? We learned that the subjugation CB works exactly the way I thought it did. Now, we can use it to get claims. We would have to make claims on, like, everything Space Elf or something. We would probably actually make claims on these locations over here, these enclaves. Is probably the way we'd end up doing it. 
So that's fine. We do finish up our gateway construction site over here fairly soon. We'll bump up to fastest speed. Of course, we're not going to declare that war. That was always just something we were purely testing to see how the CB worked. And now we know. So that's absolutely fine. We're going to check for some jobs here. This forge world requires jobs, and it's not really much of a forge world, is it? Not really at all. Okay, um, I guess precinct houses would be fine to bring up our stability. A little bit. It's not amazing. Commerce megaplexes are fairly necessary, of course. We know for a fact that we're going to need more, and we knew that we needed more energy credits before we ran that simulation as well. But now we know that we need around a thousand more. So, eh, that's not really what we were looking for, but I guess it's kind of useful. So this generator world here is going to get an alloy foundry. There's no additional power generation that we can put in there. This generator world here... I'm going to drop the moat harvesting trap and replace that with a Ministry of Production. Now, that's not going to give us our job that we need. So we're also going to put in an industrial district. Cool. The Juven Sovereign Planet States have rivaled us. Hilarious. Okay. Sounds good. So... We know that they attacked us up through here. This is unsurprising. Our plan the entire time was to eliminate these ex or these enclaves first, we right? So that's what we're going for. We're not going to be attempting to, uh, like, invade this area up here right away. That's the point of building up these very strong defensive platforms where we are. So that's fine. We do have locations like this, which I consider this to be an enclave, even though, even though it's technically connected here. It's an enclave because of the hyperspace lanes. So this is a location we'd attack. This is a location we'd attack. This We'd probably just send a single fleet here. And this is a location that we would attack. Locations out this way, we would rely on our defense platforms. Although Tyrim is not a defense platform. And... Probably should be one. We're going to queue up a pair of ion cannons here. And we're going to swap this over from being an anchorage. This is not necessary. So we're going to do gun, missile, hangar. Gun, missile, hangar. This is going to be a defense grid supercomputer. We already have a command center target uplink computer here. So then we're then going to need a communications jammer. And the command center can become a disruption field generator. There we go. Now the ion cannons are going to be lower priority. I just wanted to get those queued up for the moment. Okay, so the Tyrim station is going to be swapped over. So that's going to hold over this way. Cool. I just want to double check... Our locations over here. And yeah, those should, in theory, hold. Fulas, we would hit right away. Now, Estora. Well, we, we would want to hit Parvis right away. This is an exclave, really, more than anything. So that's something that we would hit right away. Over here, we've got defenses up. We've got Kimathar, we've got Ophelia, we've got Astrikian. That's all completely fine. We would hit this right away, as well as Taramba. And this would be hit right away as well. So overall, we're pretty good. Other than getting Tyrim swapped over. So that's something that is going to need to happen. This trade hub here is going to get a pair of... Not hangar bays. A pair of trade hubs. Cancel this. There we go. Trade hubs go in there. And we'll put in resource silos. Cool. So a pair of trade hubs go in here. And a resource silo. And then we want to come in over here, of course, and get this gateway construction site up upgrading to a gateway ASAP. And then... Were we actually... Did we actually queue this up? Or did we just tell the construction ship to make its way over here? It's just making its way over here. Okay, so we're going to queue up a gateway construction site over here. Perfect. That'll do just fine. Then we're going to hop up into our bastions. Or actually, this trade hub requires two additional trade hubs. And we'll put in a hydroponics bay. Cool. 
Okay, so these Bastions. It is the Erich station that currently needs defense platforms. This will likely max it out pretty simply. Yep, there we go. And the Valderam station. This is the final one other than what we're switching over, over here, the Tyrim station. So we'll just continue to queue up defense platforms here. I don't think we're going to get this one maxed out just yet, but it's very, very close. Cool. So we have a series of plans here then for how we're going to fight these guys. We're going to be relying pretty heavily on these stations actually holding them. Now, it is possible that they could jump drive past them. In my experience, the AI doesn't usually try to do that. But if they do, then we'll have to deal with it. It's not a huge deal. But we absolutely need to eliminate things like this Azerian Authority holding over here. This is a pretty big holding, and it's going to take a while to deal with. It'll take several units, for sure. Brontor Sect over here could be eliminated quite easily. So yeah, that's all just things that we're going to need to do. But we need a better CB. Subjugation isn't going to cut it. Under any circumstances. We could just toss influence at claims. But I don't think that's good either. This trade hub here requires a pair of, well, trade hubs. And a resource silo. Cool. The Valderam station, let's go ahead and queue up a few defense platforms for. We're very close to maxing this out. And it is, in fact, maxed out now. So that's all of those stations, with the exception of the Tyrim station. Good to go. Top priority for the Tyrim station is actually the Defense Grid Supercomputer. We'll get that online. And of course, we're going to need to queue up a bunch of defense platforms here. So the question is, when are we going to queue those? I mean, this requires a little bit more work, for sure. It'll take some time to get all this converted over. We'll get these queued up for the time being. We'll sell off some minerals so that we're no longer capped. Cool. We're very close to capped on energy credits, actually. Summon the fleets. War has been declared against us. Okay. So the Juven Sovereign Planet States declared on us. This is a defensive war. Hmm. So, Juven Sovereign Planet States, huh? There's some of their territory down here. Okay. So this, of course, means that the entire League voted to go to war with us. Now, we were planning to go to war with them, so this isn't that shocking. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to make a claim here for the time being. That will give us a claim CB. So we'll set our war goal. And we need to get some ships moving. We need to come out up to Fulaz as soon as possible. We were not expecting them to actually declare on us. I am not super shocked by that. But I'm also, I, I wasn't directly expecting it, right? So it looks like we're going to need like three fleets up over this way. We're going to send the Diamond, Bloodstone, and Topaz up over here. They're going to get started heading this way. It's going to take them some time to get there. We're definitely going to make sure to recruit an Admiral. The Ruby is going to then... This is not super relevant. I think the Ruby is going to come up over this way. It's probably going to jump drive from Scott. The Bronzite is going to be responsible for coming out over this way. Yes. Our Juggernaut for right now, we're going to leave where it's at. The Nephrite. 
think the nephrite's going to come out over this direction. Like, through the L gate. This is a pretty powerful station, so we're going to send the silver out here as well. And maybe the Underworld Sovereign, actually, instead. The silver, we could send over to this black hole over here. This is a much weaker station, I believe. Yes. So this should be taken care of by a single fleet. The gold is going to look to head in like over this way. Although that's not really a great direction. We'll head in like this. That's 153k. So we'll send two fleets over this way. The starite, I think we're going to have come over this way. And the opal over like this for right now. Those might get redirected later on. We're going to immediately dump a huge amount of dark matter, although we're capped. So we're going to spend our cash right now. We're going to dump even more dark matter. This is currently at minimum price. I'm aware of that. So we're going to dump most of our dark matter, and we are going to use that to buy in alloys. We're going to dump most of our exotic gases as well. And our rare crystals. We're going to be capping soon, so we're just going to buy in more alloys. And these alloys are mostly to be used for stockpiling. We're going to take losses in these initial conflicts, and we're trying to drive the prices up so that they can't buy as easily as we can. And we're also trying to stockpile so that we have enough to replace our losses. So volatile moats we're going to do the same thing with. buy in additional alloys and consumer goods as well. So we're just going to sell off a bunch of those. And I think at this point, we'll call that good. We're going to need energy credits as well. So that's something to think about. We're going to bump up our monthly trade of consumer goods up to a thousand. Okay. Now the Tyrim station is very not good to go. That's something we need to consider. But once we have these initial movements taken care of, in theory, things should get a little better. <laughs> a little better. Now, they have a lot of ships. There's no doubt about it. Can we beat them? Probably is the answer. For now, though, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode... We'll see about taking on this war. We're going to make as many claims as possible as well. Now, the fact that we're at war, actually, the fact that we're in a defensive war is good for us. That means that we can claim more systems. So that's good. At any rate, like I said, it's time to put a cut in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll see how this goes. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.